All right, sweetie, what would you say are your top three requirements for our new home? Um, one would be a updated electrical infrastructure mm. in the house, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, with the hobby equipment that both of us have, um, with the power that they draw, I mean, we don't want breakers popping all over the place and yeah, stuff true. turning off. I mean, you know, true. so we, 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 we can't have that. Yeah, been there, done that. Dedicated hobby space. Mm -hmm. So when I'm painting or, or cutting stuff or breaking in an engine or something like that for my RC hobby, um, that it would be a little bit outside the house so that, mm -hmm. that we could, you know, it wouldn't disturb the family or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> and let's see, third, probably um, walking distance to some convenience stores um, access. Um, okay. And then being close enough to, since we do have our vehicle, um, to drive to the grocery store not too far away. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So how about you? What do you I would like to have a dedicated hobby space too. Okay. Um, because we did come here with the full-fledged desire and wish that we would be able to enjoy our hobbies yeah. and whatnot. So I would, so we, that's one of the main reasons we kept my embroidery machine, my, um, my cutter, my heat press, my hat press, all of the things that I use to embellish and decorate um, clothes. And, you know, I would like to keep that and do that. So I would like to have a dedicated hobby space. Sure. Um, next up behind that would probably be, oh, a guest space for the family. Sure. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, we are <sighs> aspiring empty nesters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but every now and then I would like the kids to, the kids to be able to come back from college and and maybe for us to be together at Christmas time or yeah, sure. for family to come and visit and I'd like for them to have, um, or at least the space be able to accommodate, you know, some room for family to come visit. Sure, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then my last thing would probably be a rooftop garden. Yeah, you've always wanted one of those. A little sexy rooftop garden situation, you know, <laughs> so that we could have a fantastic view. That would be just the icing on the cake. Yeah, so, that sounds good. Sounds good. So if we can look for those, uh, <laughs> find the house with all those things, then yeah, <sighs> write it up. Yeah. Search begins. All right, so let's go get something to eat. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. This is very pretty with the fountain. Oh, and the tower. Okay. Vamos a empezar a hacer el recorrido de aquí. Podemos ir entrando o se ocupa de alguna zona. No. Ah. Yo les voy a dar un video de lo que está porque no podemos grabar. No video. No video. Okay. Oh. Yep, you heard it right. We weren't allowed to take video of the house. Once we went inside, we found out that the tenants were using the house as a medical facility and maybe without permission. So no video. But we do have pictures of the home to give you an idea of what it looked like. That's right. So let's go. As you can see from the outside, the house had a very traditional Mexican architecture. It had nice curb appeal. 
totally. You can even tell from the little bit of video that we did manage to get that it had a really lovely front yard garden. Very pretty. When you first enter the house, it has ceramic tile on the diagonal in the foyer and hardwood floors in the living room. Also in the living room, there were two-story wood ceilings that were open to the floor above with wrought iron railings. What really made this house stand out was that arched entryway that really brought out the two-story foyer. And it had a spectacular view of the backyard that you could see from the large window in the back. The brick on the fireplace with the stonework, ah, oh, it was just fantastic. It really gave the room character. Through the archway on the other side, it led to the dining room that had a really nice view of the garden on the back of the house. When you go into the kitchen, you will notice the large countertops, which give excellent workspace for meal preparation. A large bay window that gives an excellent view of the backyard. The kitchen also has a lot of storage. One of the really nice parts about this house had to be, hands down, the backyard. The backyard was absolutely exquisite. That's why those two-story foyer views that you could see in the house really focused on the backyard. It had a great patio space with a covered lighting and covered area for you to be able to enjoy the outside, as well as a backyard basketball court and a storage shed. Also beautiful. It had flowering garden trees that had fruit on it as well as a, just a large area for our dogs. It was great. One of the things that this neighborhood in Queretaro is known for is its exquisite, beautiful Mexican architecture. And this house did not disappoint. The Bobeda ceilings that were all throughout the home were absolutely gorgeous. You can see it in the office, as well as the secondary space that could have been used for storage or as another office. You could see it in the hallway that also accented the beautiful terracotta tile. But no home tour is complete without a tour of the bedroom spaces. Right. The home had four bedrooms and all were on the second floor. Each room had decent space and one had really nice closet, but only the master had an ensuite bath. Yeah, about that master bedroom. First, it was a good sized room. Well, correction, it would have been a good sized room if it weren't for the jacuzzi that was in the middle of the master bedroom floor. It had a balcony and good closet space, and the ensuite bathroom was decent. But overall, the space was good for, at most, a queen size bed, not the king size that we were bringing. Okay. All right. We didn't get a chance to do a video on this one. They didn't allow it. They wouldn't Be have let us have because, a video. Because it's being used currently as a clinic or medical facility for massage. And, and apparently you're not supposed to do that. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, so that's why they would not allow us because they had clients in there. that No video. They don't no, want to. They don't want anybody knowing that. They don't want that. you catching the evidence of a right. video. Mm. So. So what was your opinion and impression of the whole thing? Uh, it's it got that old Mexican style architecture. Definitely. Very sturdy house. Mm -hmm. um, very well built. Um, if you walk up the steps, it's uh, these large decorative concrete block that they use, yeah. which is really neat. Um, and the beautiful the, garden the space yes. out in the front. Really yes, pretty. Really, uh, a very fountain. Pretty in front uh parking. fountain inside inside uh it, and another uh, fountain another fountain that comes with a lizard <laughs> <laughs> um, yes there was a whole ass lizard yes in their outdoor it, they, they had like a space that opened to the outside that 
uh, had more of a uh, Mexican courtyard. Courtyard, yeah. yeah, courtyard kind of feel to it. Right. Um, strange thing about the master bedroom: there's a jacuzzi tub in the yeah bedroom. That threw me off. Yeah. Uh, was not feeling. To be honest, I wasn't feeling the master bedroom. Yeah. I wasn't feeling the master bedroom. I wasn't feeling the closet because the closet had a lot of drawers, not much to hang. Right. And so, uh, I don't know. I, my shoes, my shoes, it, it yeah, I, I <sighs> So, the kitchen, I mean, people would say that the house is dated. Um, however, it's well maintained. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, I think it's gonna go. Yeah, it I can see it going. Yeah, somebody's gonna snag this. If it's not us, it's gonna be someone else. Um, it, 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 part of the issue was having a guest room available, as well as finding hobby space. For it's us. the hobby space for me. It's the really trying to retrofit the rooms to work with the hobby stuff. And from a and it, from a physical functional standpoint. Um, some of these older homes don't have the amount of outlets that more modern houses would have. Yeah, electrical true. outlets. And some of the rooms only had like one, one outlet outlet yeah. for the entire room, room. which isn't going to work um, because if you have a lamp, right, and try to charge your phone, right. I mean, so, so a lot of these older homes are, are not equipped to handle modern conveniences and technology mm -hmm. they really are not um, this is not a slam against it. it's just they because of the period of time that they they were built um, now I think that the electricity has been updated in this home because there are three prong outlets in here so that means that they've done some work in here and they're running some medical equipment they're though, running so medical so heavy duty, you. right um, so it can handle it it's just that the amount of outlets in the room and I don't know if we could contract an electrician to maybe um, add two uh, uh, or add outlets uh, into the house oh, or into a room to, you know, to get that done. We don't know. Yeah. Um, but this is on the list. There were fruit, think, fruit trees in the back. Yes, and Lamar, look what Lamar. And well, no, 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 this is a, a mandarin, mandarin orange. orange right? A little mandarin orange tree. Right. right. So, had a mandarin orange tree. An orange tree. An orange tree. A lemon and a lime tree yes and then she said there was some other kind of fruit that's mango in, or, oh, mango tree right and there was another fruit that's indigenous to mexico that i forgot what the name of it yeah. was but that was in the backyard yes it had a basketball hoop hoop and court actually and court in the backyard yes which i was like oh wow great backyard yeah space it had a very nice terrace space um which was nice as well so we keep looking guys yep. we keep looking keep looking um i don't think we have anything else on the agenda no not today until monday until monday yeah yeah all right so, so all right stay tuned guys stay right. tuned hey take Bye. it easy later